Hello guys and welcome back. Happy New Year. For those of you who do not know me, I am Briar, but most people call me Brizy, so that's what I call myself. Anyway, it's a new year, new adventure, new videos. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. Anyway, today is going to be like a bit of a short video because if you've kind of been following my page for a little bit, you would have known that I've broken my foot like a week before Christmas, so I've been a bit hobbly. So I'm not riding today, but we are taking my young stallion to a local-ish pony club to do a bit of cross-country training. So I'm just going to be like doing groundwork and like getting him to jump up by himself over jumps to kind of like see how he does, see what kind of shape he makes of the jumps, see whether he's brave enough to even do the jumps. That might be another question or if he's careful enough. So I have done a little bit of, well last night I like when I was working him in my arena, I set up a tiny little jump and it wasn't very good he kept knocking it and he was like he was pretty terrible actually i think i called my mum because my mum's in queensland at the moment and i said to her i don't know if he's going to be a good event horse i did buy him to be an event horse and he's got really good breeding so that he should be a good event horse but uh, last night i just i lost all faith in him so we're going to take him today see how he is with a lot of the other horses and because i think there's gonna be a few other horses there um and then see how he goes being brave and trying to jump some jumps um i'm currently in a moon boot as you can see so it'll be an interesting day hopefully he doesn't pull me across the cross country course or be naughty or do weird and wonderful things so Let's take him and see what happens, guys. I'm excited. I'm actually really excited. I'm excited to see how he goes. I'm excited to see how he handles it. And I'm excited to do another video for you. I haven't done a video in a little while. So let's get this happening. First video of the year. Let's get on a roll. See you soon. was a perfect traveler he came off the float not sweaty at all and he was a little bit shaky when he first came off because he's at a new place and this is his second ever outing so I am like I'm quite happy with how chilled he is he's a little, he's a little bit lucky but he's eating his hay which is like means that he's calm and relaxed a bit so I'm really quite happy with that and he's looking around but he's not calling out too much he's just relaxing it's been a good boy so now we're waiting for our neighbors to come and then we are going to go and take him out on the cross-country course let's see how he does so i thought i'd do a quick voiceover for you guys and give you a bit of an explanation about why we're here and what my plan of action is for the day so hr has only ever been to one other place and it was a little bit wild because he was full of testosterone and i hadn't done a whole lot of work with him so this is his second ever outing and honestly i haven't done a whole lot of work with him prior to this because I've had a few weeks off because of my foot so he'd only been, had a few sessions before I thought of bringing him here so my plan of action is to see kind of what he thinks about jumps and how willing he is to jump jumps and then what kind of shape he does over a jump 
Um, you can see that I'm using my flag a bit just because he is a very lazy horse. He never really has a whole lot of like motivation to go forward. So um, the flag is a good tool just to help keep him going forward, especially when we're jumping um, biggish jumps or something that's a little bit wide. You really kind of need that forward momentum sometimes just to get them going over the jump in a nice manner and not getting stuck on it. So that's why I have my flag. And then you'll also see me with my bum bag, my sexy bum bag. And I'm just giving him a few treats. I'm using a bit of positive reinforcement. I have been playing around with positive reinforcement lately because um, I'm just trying to get his focus more on me and what we're doing and trying to get him more involved and excited to work and do new things. So the positive reinforcement is really, really good for all of those. I also like using it when we're around mares. He can sometimes get a bit distracted. So using it when he's around mares to get his focus back onto me and keep it on me is also a really cool tool even also when he's around geldings because any kind of horse for a stallion can be a bit exciting so i really like the positive reinforcement for that you'll see me using my flag quite a bit in the water hr's biggest thing is that he doesn't really like water he's not a water baby so he needs a lot of encouragement to go in and keep going forward when you're out on cross country course and galloping around you don't really want them walking through the water because it takes up a lot of time. So you really want them to get confident with the water and keep them trotting or cantering through it if you can. So just building up that confidence with him is a really big step for me at the moment that I'm trying to work on as well. So I also do use quite a bit of positive reinforcement through this water jump. We did miss the very first few minutes of going into the water and stuff. So I have actually had actually done quite a bit of work going through the water just before that and had been using a lot of positive reinforcement with him. You'll see in the background two horses. So they are my beautiful neighbours and they're the ones who came out with us. So it was really cool having them there because um, HR got to see other horses trotting and cantering around him and jumping jumps. I was super, super happy that not once did he get worked up about it. He just stayed calm the whole time. And when we were on the other jumps, not around the water, he would just, if they were jumping, he would just stand there and eat grass. He didn't actually really care at all, which was really cool to see because he can sometimes lose focus quite a bit on other horses. So we've just been really work working on him keeping his focus and just trying to stay calm and not get too wild or anything like that. But yeah, so we're just working on getting him confident to drop down the bank and into the water. But overall, I'm super, super proud of this young boy. He's done really well. Um, I'm actually quite surprised with a few of the jumps that he tried. And yeah, I'm excited to... I'm really, really excited to see where he goes in the future. Um, I think he's going to be a cool little horse. So yeah. I hope you enjoy this video.
am so, so, so proud of HR. He was just incredible. He actually really surprised me with how well he did and how many jumps he tried. There's my Maggie girls and she just so cute. But yeah, anyway, I'm super, super proud of the young boy. He stood in the wash bay really well and he was just a oh, superstar. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you haven't done so already, please give us a like. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out. And I will see you all next time. Bye.